Hello friends, welcome to this video. Now in the previous video, we saw that how we can create a hyperlink to a new web page. Okay, so from the Excel file, if I want to go to a web page or a website, then how we can create that kind of hyperlink. So that we saw in the previous video. Now in this video, I'll be showing you how to create a new document from the Excel file and how we can update that document also. So let us see together how we can create a hyperlink to a new document. So here I'm in the sheet that is hyperlink to update document. So here I'm having the text and when I click on this text, then it should create a new document and then I can go to the document. I can update the document also. So let us try to create a link over here. So I select the text over here, new file for update. I right click and then I go to the link and then in the link, I click on insert link. And now here in this particular dialog box, I want to create a new document. So I click on this option link to create new document and now here I have to write down the document name so here I can write down let's say sample.docx I want to create a new word file and it will have the name sample.docx now here it is giving me the full path that where I want to save that file I can also click on the change button here and now I can let's say go to the download folder I click on the OK button so now I can save this file in this download folder. Now here below we are having these two options that is when to edit. Edit the new document later or edit the new document now. Now we'll see one by one what are the differences here. So first of all let me go for this option edit the new document now. I click on this OK button and now you can see that our link is created and now what happens that immediately that word document will also get created and it will get open so this is that word file which i have created that is sample.docx and now here i can write down something let's say i write down here my name is samir i save it i close it so now it is saved and closed now again if i click this particular link it will open up that same document that is the word file so again it has opened the same word file here my name is Samir and now here I'll write down let's say I modify it I'll write down my last name also my name is Samir Roadia I am living in Germany so I have done some updation here I click on the save button I close this word file now again if I click this link then it will open up again that same word file and I will get that updated word file here my name is Samir Wadia. I am living in Germany. So this is how we can create a link to create a new document. Now, as we have seen in that uh, link option that when I'm creating a new document, then we are having two options. One is edit the new document later. And the second option was edit the new document now. So we went for the second option just now, edit the new document now. Now, what are the differences here? If I go for the option edit the new document later, then what it does that it creates the new file but leaves it closed. Okay, so when I go for this first option here, edit the new document later, then it will create a Word file or whatever Excel file or whatever you want to create, but it will not open up that Word file, Excel file immediately. While if I go for this option edit the new document now, then what it will do, it will create the new file and it will open up immediately. That is the major difference between this edit the document later and edit the new document now. And another thing what we have here, it is when to use. So the first option you can use it when you want to continue working in Excel and edit the file later. Let's say I want to still work in the Excel file. I don't want to work with that Word file or Excel file new file, but I want to still work with my existing Excel file. So then I can go for this option edit the new document later. But if you want to directly start working with your new Excel file or new Word file, File, then you should go for this option edit the new document now yeah here it is mentioned you want to start writing or working in the new file right away then you should go for the second option so these are the differences between these two options now one last thing here that if I put my pointer on this link so you can see here that it is written file colon slash 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 and something is written over here now I don't like this particular thing here so I want to modify this option here so what I'll do here that I will select this particular cell where I've created the link right click then I go for this edit hyperlink and now here I'm coming to this particular dialog box that we already seen now here we are having this button known as screen tip so I click on this screen tip and now here I can 
write down whatever I want to see here when I put my pointer on this particular link. So let's say here I write down create a new word file. Yeah, suppose if I want to see this particular text when I hover my mouse on this particular link, create a new word file. I click on OK button. I also click on OK button. And now when I put my pointer here, you see that it is showing me the text create a new word file. So this kind of thing you can definitely do with the other options also. Let's say if you are creating a hyperlink to a web page or email. Yeah, let's say here also if I want to create the same thing, I can also right click over here, go to edit hyperlink. Here I will go to screen tip and the screen tip I can write down here that send mail to a user. I click on OK button, OK button. And then when I put my pointer here, I'm getting the text. So this is very, very helpful. This screen tip is very, very helpful that people can know that what thing will happen when they click on this particular link. So friends, here we are winding up all the topics of hyperlink. Now in the next video, I'll be starting with another series where I'll be talking about the various charts that we can create in Microsoft Excel. So please stay tuned to this particular channel and please like the videos and you can also share the videos with your friends and colleagues. And now I'm going to see you in the next series, which will be on the different types of charts that we can create in Microsoft Excel. So see you then. Thank you very much.